Later on, we talked again about the guardian of the other world. If I believe that whatever I experienced is actually real, I said, then the guardian is a gigantic creature that can cause unbelievable physical pain. And if I believe that one can actually travel enormous distances by an act of will, then it's logical to conclude that I could also will the monster to disappear. Is that correct? Not exactly, he said. You could not will the guardian to disappear. Your will can stop it from harming you, though. Of course, if you ever accomplish that, the road is open to you. You can actually go by the guardian, and there's nothing that it can do, not even whirl around madly. How can I accomplish that? You already know how. All you need now is practice. I told him that we were having a misunderstanding that stemmed from our differences in perceiving the world. I said that for me to know something meant that I had to be fully aware of what I was doing and that I could repeat what I knew at will. But in this case, I was neither aware of what I had done under the influence of the smoke, nor could I repeat it if my life depended on it. You really know how to talk and say nothing, don't you? I have told you, you have to have unbending intent in order to become a man of knowledge. But you seem to have an unbending intent to confuse yourself with riddles. You insist on explaining everything as if the whole world were composed of things that can be explained. Now, you are confronted with a guardian and with the problem of moving by using your will. Has it ever occurred to you that only a few things in this world can be explained your way? When I say that the guardian is really blocking your passing and could actually knock the devil out of you, I know what I mean. When I say that one can move by one's will, I also know what I mean. I wanted to teach you, little by little, how to move, but then I realized you already knew how to do it, even though you say you don't. But I really don't know how, I protested. You do, you fool, he said sternly, and then smiled. You make it sound so easy, Don Juan, but it isn't. I'm torn inside. You'll be in one piece again soon enough. You have not taken care of your body, for one thing. You're too fat. I didn't want to say anything to you before. One must always let others do what they have to do. You were away for years. I told you that you would come back, though, and you did. The same thing happened to me. I quit for five and a half years. Why'd you stay away, Don Juan? For the same reason you did. I didn't like it. Why'd you come back? For the same reason you have come back yourself. Because there is no other way to live.